going to show you now how a comedian does a Zoom show in a post-corona world. First, you get your cocktail so that the people that are watching online know you're having a good time. Little secret, this is not wine, this is pomegranate juice. Yes, but they don't need to know that. That stays between us. Still Persian, and I can still drive after this if I need to. Here's the setup for Zoom. As you can see, I have the light, the better camera on top, and the microphone giving me a professional sound. Oh, and it's time to start the show. They're asking me to log on right now, so I'm gonna do that before the client thinks I forgot. By the way, with Zoom shows, sometimes you're doing shows for people in Australia, England, so you definitely want to get the timing right. If this were a live show, I'm supposed to make fun of the crowd, but I can't see anybody because all I see is a little rectangle. So I'm gonna try to stereotype you guys, okay? A Faye, I like, you could tell Faye is the richest one here just by that mirror behind her. She's very wealthy, look at that. <laughs> Look at that mirror is more than all my furniture in my house combined. I guarantee it. You could tell Shireen keeps everything. She's a hoarder. She does not throw anything away. Look at that in the background. I see. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, this guy got a tattoo at Walmart. He thought he could save 30% off if he got the tattoo of Walmart <laughs> on his back. So let's start with the birthday girl. Samira, what business do you go to so often you need the 50% off? <laughs> Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus. Perfect. Mandana? Um, I guess I want to get good groceries, so Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. <laughs> nice. See, those were classy answers. The last Zoom show I had, a guy said in and out. I said, you don't want that back there. You don't want, you don't want that there. about the attendees. And I said, come on, John, we are Persian. We get offended. 